Hey folks, I'd like to introduce you to my new friend. <coughs> this is a Powermatic drill press model 1150. The guy that I got this from claims that this came out of the old RCA plant in Indiana, so that puts it anywhere between 30 to 40 years old. I've already gone through and done a refresh on the entire thing and everything looks great. Everything is original except for the one arm on the spindle, the chuck, and the switch. The motor is the original motor. It is the 120 or 240 volt single phase motor, depending on the way you wire it. And it is a three quarter horse and runs at 1,140 RPMs. The crank on the front can change the speed between 330 RPMs and 3,075. I've had this for two weeks now and I've already used it on a couple projects and it is a fantastic machine. Everything still feels tight, there nothing feels broken, the spindle feels solid, there's no wobble, there's no run out. I'm really happy with the condition that this is in. And there's only one thing that I really do not like about this drill press. The switch that was installed on this is a $15 cheapy off of Amazon. And the buttons are incredibly hard to press, especially the stop button. And in the case of an emergency, it's really hard to turn this off. So in this video, I'm going to replace the $15 Amazon switch with a much more substantial three pull self latching contactor switch. A little bit of time has passed and I have finished cleaning up and pre-assembled the aluminum plates. I have the start and stop button on the aluminum plate that goes on the front with the normally open and normally closed contactors on the back. And on the other plate I have the three pole contact and this makes it easier to mount in the box that I have attached to the side of the drill press now. So with those things ready to go, the next thing to do is to wire everything up. And in front of me, I have the circuit for the three pole latching contactor. I'm gonna start wiring up the control switch on the front, and then we'll add all the jumpers that I need to, to the contactor, and then we'll move into installing it on the box.
of truth. I do have to say that works very well. The start button is very nice because you have to purposely press it. You can't accidentally bump it because it has this rim. So you have to actually press it. The stop button on the other hand is nice. You just, you flick your hand up here, it's easy. You can do it from any direction, from any place. I mean, it's wonderful. So start, stop. It's just a tap too. I'm really happy with the way these buttons feel. The contactor works great, doesn't seem to have any issues. I solved the only problem that I didn't like with the drill press and I could not be happier. And with that, I guess we've come to the end of another one. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them down below. I'm gonna get to drilling some holes and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.